What's up, y'all? Welcome to another review by Ryan, and a very happy Sunday to all of you. It is Sunday, February 26th, and I hope you all are doing well wherever you're at in the world at the time you find this reaction. Uh, in this video, I'll be reacting to the ninth episode of the second season of Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro, Second Attack. The title of today's episode is That Is... If you win at least once, senpai. So, uh, just uh, kind of just FYI before we start this video, um, I am just about caught up now. I'm one day late here. Um, but so the plan is to get this and the near automata uh, reaction done today, and then hopefully get the uh, inspector and. Um, D4 DJ All Mix Reaction done tomorrow uh, because I'm trying not to have to do anything on my birthday on Tuesday. Uh, so yeah, uh, and there might be a tad bit of a delay again the following weekend because my friend actually just found out the one who's going to be moving in with me, he has to move in on the weekend instead of on the original plan day we had uh, because of work reasons. So as of such, it's going to be pretty crazy next week, but I'll uh, talk to you guys more about that and I'll make a community post about that at that time. So, that out of the way. Uh, last episode, of course, was my double header because I came back from my trip. And, again, from watching the bond and interaction between Nagatoro and uh, uh, Malto uh, at the skiing segment, all the way to watching the judo segment and him kind of, he's really starting to believe that he really enjoys spending time and learning things with uh, ISA because, again, that's the bond that they've gained with each other. Whether he wanted to or not, that's what's there now. Um, and last episode particularly, episode 8, was, uh, was, was really nice because I feel like we're now starting to move slightly away from just teasing this, teasing that, and we're starting to actually um, unwind past elements between the lives of uh, Nagatoro and Naoto. You know, we don't really know much about things that have happened to the both of these characters in the past that have led to where they are in the present and where they're trying to be in the future. And in particular, um, all we've, you know, we've seen so much about uh, her aggressive teasing, you know, uh, Nagatoro's aggressive teasing and her really just abrasive personality that it's very rare outside of when she obviously starts shrieking to terror every time, uh, he puts her on the spot, uh, or he counters her with some tease that she's trying to do him. Um, it, we haven't really seen a lot about her backstory and her background, other than, of course, seeing her sister that we've recently met. Um, and so seeing her reaction to the judo competition and running away from the uh, not wanting to see the flyer and uh, obviously her hesitance when it comes to teaching her senpai, you know, judo skills and stuff like that. It, it was very rare to see her genuinely just conservative and almost just completely not wanting to really talk about it. Now, of course, we've come to learn that the main reason for that was because it was something that was incredibly competitive. She did enjoy it, but she's the type of person that if she's going to do something, she has to be the best at everything that she does. And if she can't be the best, it's not going to be a lot of fun. And she beats herself down with it. So obviously, in her previous years of doing judo, she realized there were opponents she just couldn't take on. And as a result of that, uh, she just tends to kind of steer away. But now that um, uh, we see that she sees that her senpai is going to be participating and he's trying to body himself up, he's trying to, you know, build some muscle mass and everything. Uh, she, of course, wants to be able to help because anytime it involves her senpai, uh, she has to be at the forefront of everything that happens. And so um, it did really make her happy that even though. Um, Gama was going to teach him, uh, was going to teach him, uh, skills now that we know that she actually runs her own, uh, judo, uh, facility, uh, he spoke out and said that he wants it to be Nagatoro, and that just continues to add on to what has been now, what's going to be three consecutive episodes, including today's episode, um, we, it, it's just been constant building, and just those two really starting to come together in a big way, both, you know, uh, mentally and physically and, and, and with everything and, and everything in between. Sorry, my words are all over the place right now. I'm so sorry. I just got off of work in a crazy day. Uh, but y'all guys know what I'm trying to talk about. The long story short of it is I'm really happy that they're continuing to have these bonding moments between each other. Um, I'm very happy to see that she's starting to break her shell just a little so we can see more of the personality of Nagatoro despite her just being 
always aggressive and abrasive and abusive and noodle arming all the time. And then for him, and then for Nato, it's just nice to see that he's starting to slowly but surely grow a spine. He is trying to better himself. And, you know, those two are, and especially him, he's starting to really try to unravel his feelings as on a whole of how he feels about Nagatoro. And again, you saw that all the way at the beginning of the episode last week when he was doing the painting and he was trying to find motivation and then he looked at her and he had motivation and he wanted to paint her again. So it's just little things like this. It's been really nice to see through a show that has had some really rough moments to get through. So um, I look forward to seeing what the events of this episode is going to be. And then obviously we all saw that a girl that I've been heavily anticipating arriving, uh, the art club president's, I'm assuming, sister, is now on the scene because she showed up at the end of the episode and she is our, our other new character of the show but we haven't really seen any of her until the end of the episode so looks like i don't know if she's going to be present again in this episode or if she's going to come either either during or after the judo tournament but i do look forward to seeing uh how she's going to be worked into uh the plot as a whole because with obviously the president leaving we can only anticipate that her sister will be taking her place. So uh, that's what I got for you. I was way all over the place, but you guys get what I was saying. It was a great episode. It was a great last two episodes. And I look forward to seeing where we go from this point forward. So I'm going to go ahead and get it set up here. Be a split second for you guys. And when I come back, we'll get this reaction started. All right, guys, I am back. I have the episode pulled up, and we're going to go ahead and get this reaction started. Again, this is episode nine of the second season of Don't Toy With Me with Nagatoro Second Attack, and the title is That Is If You Win At Least Once, Senpai. So let's go ahead and get this episode started in three, two, one. Now look at my man stretching. Yeah. Yeah, boy, you about to feel some real pain. Pain you ain't never felt before in life. I remember when I started martial arts. Also, it continues to just be so nice when Nagatoro is just calmer and just being a reasonable person. It's easier said than done, but I'm sure you'll pull it off. Dang, it really is weighing on her that she... I mean, be, again, being that she's such a competitive person, I get it. I really, really do get it. I'm a very competitive person. Not as much as I used to be maybe 10, 15 years ago, but I'm still competitive enough, so I get it. So even though, you know, this is having a lot of focus on Nalto overcoming and being able to win once, this is also not a total kind of dealing with her own past traumas also. So, this should be a great rest of the season if we keep on this, we keep on this pace, so. Or we'll just have a season of just noodle arming for the rest of time, so who knows? <laughs> Guess we'll see. But we're going in a good direction. See, come on, my girl. You gotta be all the no-eye warriors. Even the ref don't have eyes. <laughs> like he... <laughs> oh, yeah. She about to win this shit. All right, she about to win this. You about to get bodied. I'm sorry. Ha <laughs> ha 
<laughs> yeah, with your sex appeal, we already know what you're up to, you nasty. Ain't playing around with you. Stop playing. You're probably the damn strongest person here right now. Also, my man still ain't wearing his glasses. My man a whole new man now. Look, he done took off the glasses. He got all the girls. Oh, hell. <laughs> Let me guess. History. I can't remember if they said who her opponent was. That bit of it. It might be her. I don't know. Damn, how the hell you get whipped like that? Damn, did you even try? Like, I... also, you was focused too much on distractions. Such supportive friends. Yeah, but you're grabbing at your hair, so we already know what that means. You a whole lot. <laughs> no. It was. It was. I knew it. It was her. Yep. Boy, she about to blow this whole place up. So see, there it is. You could tell from the moment she was looking at the matchups. This is so not Nagatoro though. Talking about forfeiting? Like, this isn't her at all. Who is this person? I have faith in you, my girl. Don't worry. Your senpai does too, and so does your friends. Well, my man ain't wearing glasses. He about to go in on you now. Don't be that way. Don't be that way. He's come all the way out here to help you. If he didn't, my girl, he wouldn't be standing here right now. Makes sense.
Of course she got a belt. But she probably looked up to you, so... And I get it. And when you're young and you're really on top of your thing and then you get humbled like that, it happens that way. But see, that's that's just, it's just young, naive mindsets. And she probably didn't have anyone to help pull her, pull, pull her through that. This is so not like her. Like that's what I've been saying in the last couple minutes. I see. This is your time, my dude. Let her know. Because someone needs to. But what's that mean for now? No, 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 just that. No, after what she just did, uh-uh, keep it going. No, keep it going, because she about, no, you, you, because you was, mm. All right, don't try to change it around now. After you just try to clap at my man for a moment. He was getting ready to spit some logic to you. You about to get mad at him. And she just might do it, for real. Oh shit. Ah, ah, ah. Oh come on, you gotta take them down, my dude. There are no eyes! Don't be intimidated. You got this in the bag. Much easier than what Nagatoro's about to go through, at least. Yes, we know. Please leave. Bro, she about to kill y'all. Y'all keep talk y'all keep putting them down like that. Don't die. No one has faith in my man. <laughs> But he didn't die. A half point. Well, there you go. So it's just all strength and no skill. That might go on your face. Come on, my dude, because you've already been... Yeah. But in a sport like this, it... Yeah, but in a sport like this, it's more than just strength, my dude. And you've been training! Come on! I'm done with y'all. Yes, you do. We've been saying this.
Huh. Yeah. Honestly, with what you've learned, this is an easy fight for you. Or should be. Yeah. And because you're using proper technique, you'll probably get a full point. Oh! <laughs> Come on. Damn, but I mean, even you being able to hold him down for as long as you have, my dude, you're doing all right. Hey, champion, your man. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Don't get distracted, though. <laughs> you can't let no odd people beat you. Come on. Time. Damn, did he even get it? Damn, that means it's gonna be a half point. Yeah. Nah, you did real well, actually. Yeah, it's probably for the better, because even if you had made it past this match, we would have watched a massacre in the second one. <laughs> but you did good, my dude. Oh shit. Now you gotta cheer her on now. You can't focus on the pass. Oh, oh. Oh, it's a hell of a good start. Half. Half point, okay. Yeah. I mean, that's good, especially being an outro. Just started retraining for this and has held herself back this whole time. So that's really damn good. I mean, again, she is competing against someone that's gonna represent Japan. That's, that's big stuff, good shit. Of course. I mean, come on, my man, speak up for her. She did it for you. Come on.
Come on. <laughs> Don't get distracted, though. Oh, shut up. <laughs> it wouldn't even hire a bitch. <laughs> Oh! Come on! Come on! And pray she don't counter. Did she get it? Ah, oh, damn. Ah, oh, damn. Ah, oh, damn. You did good, though. You did good. You both did good. Good job. I'm still laughing. How can ref see with no eyes? Stop the madness. I mean, again, she's even gotten as far as she has because of looking up to you in the past, so. <laughs> I would have thought I'd want you to be back to normal here because you've been so just off this half the episode. Aww. Wow, he said it so casual before he even realized. <laughs> No, she's dead serious. She's dead serious. Don't trip now. <laughs> This, this was a really good episode. This was a really good episode. And again, all joking and everything aside, her asking about that kiss being for real at the end, she was 100% dead serious about that. I actually, I don't even think we've truly ever seen her as serious as she was in the second half of this episode throughout the entire show. I really like this episode. And this was a vulnerable Nagatoro, one again that we have not gotten to see in any aspect really throughout this show. Yes, she gets mad at her friends, and obviously we have those angry moments where she's just beaming in anger and rage, but this time we just got to see a just bona fide, genuine Nagatoro. Like, it was, it was wonderful to see. Unfortunate they both lost their respectable matches, but especially in Nagatoro's case, I mean, there was really not much she could do, you know, being this is... Actually, no, correction, because she would have won that match if she wasn't out of bounds, so she could have beat the representative of Japan, so yeah. Oh boy. Back with the swimsuit shop to start this. Ah, oh, there she is! What in the hell is it? What in the. Oh boy, it's a. Whoa! Boy, shook it, shook it now. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> Alright, that was a wild. 
It's a 30 second end right there as a preview to the next episode. Okay, so let's stay focused and on topic here because boy, that, who that preview was wild. All right, so at the helm of this episode was a lot more growing, a lot more maturity, and a lot more of two characters finally starting to be true to themselves, um, to their emotions, and wanting to support each other. This was a great episode uh, for um, Naruto, but this was a phenomenal episode for Nagatoro. And I think that this was, in, in my personal opinion, probably one of her best presentations seeing her in a vulnerable state like that because now at, at that you know at the heart of all of her antics you, you start really getting down to why she might be the way that she is and you know I think that her losing motivation in judo uh kind of you know kept on in her personality for everything else that's why she tries to be uh overly competitive and you know she tends to be very possessive of certain uh, certain things especially when it comes to um Naruto um and it, you know those type of events really do influence your personality throughout the duration of your life and being that these are adolescents um that's just kind of the way it goes uh this was a necessary this was necessary for not just them growing their relationship, but it was necessary for them actually gaining strength and individuality and just 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 really starting to refine that focus. And th this was just great. This was a great episode. I really liked that this was what it what was necessary and it it meshed well with the overall premise of growth and moving forward and just all that jazz so yeah y'all get what i'm saying though um like earlier i'm going off and just getting caught up in a loop with my statement but the long story short of it is this was very necessary for the growth for their relationship with each other and for now and for um i say this was very necessary for her to be able to get the motivation back to first do something that she really really loves and also just you know just be confident in herself in general because her lack of confidence in pretty much everything and her being very territorial reflect, reflected back to that moment. Um, as far as Orihara is concerned, I don't think that she meant anything, any ill will by it. She saw this girl that, she saw this girl that was very, very, very good. It's something that she was very interested in. She looked up to her. She wanted to get to that level. She got to that level. And, you know, I'm sure that there, it, well, honestly, if there's any negative, well, not really a negative, but anything I would have liked to see, I would have loved to have seen them be able to have a conversation just one-on-one -on -one with each other outside of the tournament, just in a classroom, just, you know, sitting somewhere, you know, maybe being on the rooftop and just being able to have a conversation with each other. And I think that would have been the icing on, that would have been the icing on the cake um, if that had happened in this episode. But regardless... I am happy to see that that has been handled. I'm happy to see that um, Hayase was able to confront something that was, for her, very traumatic in her past. And hopefully it will help her be a better person moving forward. And now she'll be back to doing something that she truly does love and cherishes. And so, of course, for her, the icing on the cake is that there have got to be more bonding moments between her and Naoto being able to support each other and their friends sitting there watching like, uh-huh, 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 y'all ain't kidding nobody. So uh, this was really, really a good episode. Um, I really did like pretty much all aspects of this episode and even the teasing parts. You know, I didn't, you know, it, it wasn't an issue to me because every other aspect of the episode was outstanding. So um, close to a 10 out of 10 episode, if I had to give a personal opinion. I thought this was probably one of the best episodes of the show today. So uh, with that said, we do go back to the antics now. Now that the tournament is over, it looks like we are going to have our appearance from uh, the president's sister finally. And we saw some really crazy stuff going on there at the end. And then, of course, we see the president's sister show her freaking boobs for some reason. So not sure what that was about, but I guess we'll find out more about that when the time comes. Uh, but with that said, not much more to say other than that. And I don't want to get caught in a, in, a, in a speech loop again of just going in circles about what I'm trying to express. You guys know how, what I felt about the episode. You guys get what I was trying to say. So all I can say is I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And I hope that this last couple of episodes was good for you. Especially for those of you who may not overly look at uh, Nagatoro in a positive way. Um, because at, as we've said from the very beginning... Despite all of her antics, despite all of her jokes, um, and despite all of her aggression, underneath that shell is a very naive, 
immature girl who is trying to grow, who's trying to understand her feelings. She's trying to understand her feelings with her senpai. She's trying to understand her feelings with herself. She has past traumas that she also had to deal with. And these are good things that that will help her grow and will ultimately help the relationship between the two of them grow as time goes on. So that's all I got for you guys. Thanks a lot for watching the reaction. I hope you did like the video. If you did like the video, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And if you're going to be one of the first to be notified when a new reaction becomes available, hit the bell icon. So we are slowly but surely getting close to the end of this season. This is a 12 episode season. This was episode nine. So it'll be episode 10 next week. Um, I also plan to share with all of you, you know, what my plans for the spring is going to be next week also, so look forward to that video as I'm still trying to get all that figured out in conjunction with my current plans that I have going on in my real life. So I'll talk to you guys more about that next week, but until that time and until episode 10 reaction, catch you later.